I guess I have a cat now. It's uh, about October 10th, and I have been doing something different. Yeah, I hear you, cat. Check out these little greenhouses I made. They're just like so salad containers, and these are little kale. This is a strawberry container. Let's see what I got. It's fennel and bok choy. Not that good. More to-go containers. This was another type of kale. From what I've seen, the to-go containers and the uh, sealed containers actually work the best. Uh, the little fruit containers where they have too many slots open, they don't really provide any warmth or retain that moisture. So if you can have them closed, you'll be able to grow it throughout the winter in your window, wherever, and it's free. I mean, these are things that you guys throw away every day. Uh, I'm going to transplant them though and get my garden going, talk a little bit about some of the stuff I'm doing with my mulch and uh, what I'm going to try to grow throughout the winter. to this guy. Now this compost pile, this one specifically, is gonna work for about a year. I'm gonna put put leaves, I put just plants and stuff that I've clipped in soil, and then I do a newspaper, maybe a pizza box or a biodegradable container once in a while, a little bit of water, and all of our food waste that's non-meat or dairy and uh, the worms seem to be worms and other creatures seem to be doing the work Oh, I hope you stay. I really like these little guys. How's this? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, it still could have something. Mmm, the mint smells so good. As far as these little guys go, they're so delicate as it is. I'm gonna keep them in a safe, nice environment. Mm, I need to break them up, but a gamble. Well, here we go. So even in that moment, I lost a few. Let's see what we can do. Any lettuce is better than no lettuce. Let's see. 
when I won't grow this to full stock over wintering but uh, I'll just get little microgreens from them I guess technically these are microgreens and I should eat them but I wanted to see if I could grow this winter I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it but up in that pine tree is a little it's squirrels and the squirrels have been tearing this garden up burying nuts and unburying each other's nuts be really sad if they tear up all this work I'm doing today but you can't control nature is what I've learned nice if we could she has her own plans and sometimes those plans turn out better than what we'd expected or wanted. We just gotta see where she takes us. Our little journeys in the gardens, in the forest, finding ways like gardening or camping, or just going on a hike when you don't have a lot of money or time. It's a great way to just Get in touch with nature and if all you have is a little bit of time you can't even get out to the woods and find a patch of dirt. Take off your shoes and socks and just shove your feet in the mud and wiggle your toes around. Like there's there's just so much we get from this interaction. There's vitamins that are coming in my skin right now from what I'm doing. Ooh, look at that kale. Now that is exciting to me. I hear you. <laughs> he is just dying for me to leave. He's talking to me. Thought about putting hot sauce in the soil, chili powder. I'm quite fond of squirrels. I'd like to, uh, I wouldn't mind raising one in my house. I, I met somebody this year that adopted a, a squirrel. A baby squirrel fell out of a tree and she took it home. And essentially was bottle feeding it like a little babe. These are going to be humongous. And eventually I'll be able to take the greenhouse what I call a greenhouse. There's just abandoned doors on the side of the road that I found with glass. Just thought it might be a great way to keep these sprouts warm just a little longer, to grow just a little more. A little clean up. And just shine just a little mist like a little bit of rain on my new little baby plants let's see I guess it wants to stay as part of this there's a little wedge here I just shove that in like so. And then there's one on this side. Well, I'd like to answer any of your questions in the comment section. Just uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for what you've seen today, and love to get to know all of you.